Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have discussed about that things with you, how to uh, take a backup from your local storage. So now friend, that is our project font end, right? And for and also I have discussed about our back end. So that is if you go to our back end as a locking, right? So that is a locking if you are logging with the user. So that is user and I put that for the user as a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now if you click as a login. Now you can see you are successfully logged in. So that is our project backend, right? So that is a project backend, and for the backend, we'll use that theme. So I have already set up our theme, which is totally fine. That is a backend theme. Now in our font end, into the font end, I want to do, I also want to load another theme. If you go to your exercise folder, into this exercise folder, and that is our font end theme, and for the font end, we'll use that theme. I have already discussed about that things with you. That is one of the very interactive theme. You can see that is a personal portfolio. Portfolio that is one of the HTML theme. Okay, now I want to do. I want to load that theme. I want to load it in our project font end. So how to do this work is very easy. Process will be just like that same as I have done for the back end. Like first of all, in our particular that folder area, that is one of the theme folder. Into the theme folder, that is the asset. Into the asset, all the CSS, font, images, JSS, everything is in here. So right now, I want to do. I want to simply copy it. Okay, copy that asset folder. Now go to our project. So that is our project. If you go to that basic project, into the basic, that is a public. So for the backend, I have created another folder as a backend. Now for the font in, better I want to create another folder as a font in font in i created on the folder name as a font in folder and into this folder area i simply paste all that our asset okay that is our font in related asset file so that is our assets great now i want to do if you go to our project right now i minimize everything okay i minimize everything from to this position and now if you go to our view the process will be just like that same okay so that will be just like that same in our a view you can see for the admin i have already created that uh, one of the admin master and that is the index page right so now i want to the, do the same things better for the font in in our view folder i want to create another new folder and name it as a font in i name it as a font in folder and into this font in folder here i want to create all two of this file i simply create the new file and i just name it as a save as one will be as a main underscore master whatever name actually choose i name it as a main master dot blade dot php and also i want to create another file click as a new file click as a save as and i just name it as a index index dot blade dot php and also literally i will segment it for the reasons i want to create another new folder that will be just like our admin i name it as a body and into this body folder i want to create two of this file i simply create as a save as and i just name it as a header Okay, header dot blade dot php and also I want to take another one I name it as a footer footer dot blade dot php because of all if you go to our theme into the theme our header part will be the same for our every pages and also our footer part will be our same right only our that part will be as a dynamic okay because if you go to our about page into the about page you can see our header is the same and also our footer is the same only our main el part so that will be actually our el part okay so now i want to do uh, simply first of all i want to take that file that is our index index.html because into this index.html we'll get all that our css jss everything now first of all if you go to our project into the project that is index html i simply open it with the sublink test now i simply copy everything from here okay copy everything from our index and now we don't need this and in our main master here i paste it okay i simply paste it now our first job is we have to do we have to update all that our css because right now that is our asset css and bootstrap and here i have already created one of the folder um, like in our public into the public that is our asset folder and that is a font in folder and here that is our asset so only we have to do we have to take our asset asset means that will be started from our public and into the public area i have created on the folder name as a font in right that is our font in and after that font in then that is our asset css right if you go to that asset you can see there is a css perfect so now our main part will be this one better i copy or cut it i want to save it because that will be needed i want to paste it 
now that will be cop i copy it and now first of all there's some of the images i simply select pressing by the control i want to select multiple one at a time that will be the same process sorry here again i have to do i simply select it and then i simply select by the control again and now i want to paste it perfect now we have to update that our link after that founding then that will be our asset images will be get that the css link we have to update okay i simply updated the css another one as a pop-up i cut it and then paste it so i hope you if you understand that one you can change as per your demand whatever the theme actually you choose the process will be just like that same okay friend so now i simply update and also i update that one that is our another one i simply update great and then that is actually the logo if you want to display that logo you can also display it better i want to do and to copy it and then here that will be the asset asset our main logo will be displayed and also i want to meter make it a little bit left side i simply see it have so many things right there are so many files actually i want to make it a little bit left position by pressing that shift tab okay with the shift tab i want to make it a little bit left side then that will be actually great mm, yeah that is great now i want to better make it a little bit here perfect so right now our name our name i have up updated they have some of the images right so they have some of the images as an asset fondant okay there is an asset fondant now we have to update i simply cut it and after that fondant that will be our asset logo and then same as in here i cut it and then after that fondant that will be our image great and then also you have to do have to update that our js for this theme there are also some of the js you can see there is a js file now we have to do the same things i copy it because right now everything i have already added in our fondant that means fondant asset now i want to do anti access simply paste it now i cut it okay and then i apply it in our asset cut it paste it and then again i want to do and to cut it get paste it then paste it and also there is another file i cut it and paste it okay so now i simply cut it paste it and then cut it and then paste it perfect so our procedure will be same now i want to do uh, i want to update our main content part so here i have updated that js link update that cs link now i want to take our main part okay so first of all i want to segment it like uh, that is our header header is started okay there is a header is started if you select that header that is our header header is ended in which place you can see there is a header is ended and that is our main section right so that is our main section mm, that is our main section there is a section is started from to this position okay and that is a main section is started from to this area and then that is our main section is ended and that is our footer part okay so first of all i want to, do to take our main section so i simply cut everything I simply cut our main section so that is our main section is started mm, there are so many files actually so that is, you can see there is a main so now that is our main section will be after that header that, is that uh, before that footer that will be our main section now i simply cut it okay you can see main is started main is ended i cut it and now in our index here i paste it okay so here our procedure will be just like that same before if you go to our admin into this admin area what exactly i have done in our index here you can see that we have to extend it i simply cut it now in our font in here we have to paste it so now that will be extend our which folder now that should be as a font in folder and into the font in that is our main master right so now i name it as a font in font in and then that will be as a main master main and then underscore master dot blade right and also now our main part here i want to do to make it as yield part 
so i might make it as a at the rate and yield okay that will be the or yield part and for the yield here i want to take another um, one as a main so that will be our another id as a main id so now in our index i want to make it our section id will be as a main and also we have to do we have to finish that section so now i want to do and to finish it so after that last one i want to do and to finish that our section that will be as an and section right i simply added that as an and section great so right now our el part will be loaded in our index everything is great okay everything is great now if you click as a save all and now if you go to our web so for the home route what exactly page is loaded you can see for the home route one of the view page uh, before that is a default one as a welcome so now i want to do i want to load our font in and into the font in i have created as a main and then index bl blade right so now i want to load that one that will be as a font in font in and into the font in folder i have created as index now that should be loaded our index file now let's check this out friend now if you click as a save all is very easy as i told you now that is our default one now if you refresh it yes you can see it's now successfully loaded our celia personal portfolio html template everything is worked perfectly all that our css all that our jss is working okay everything is worked perfectly how much easily we did that work i hope friend you like it very much simple work okay the procedure will be the same as i told you right now i simply loaded our index and when it should be loaded that index it will be get that our font in main master with this main master will get all that our css jss and that will be our main part that is our el part our el part is loaded so in our next video i want to do i want to also segment our main master okay i want to segment that our header i want to segment that our footer i have already created two of this page as a um, footer and then header here i will actually segment it so how can do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video